Hello, YouTube. This is a reading for Sagittarius for the third week in October. And I hope nobody minds my um, little art table. It's a little messy looking, but it's very me authentic. So we're keeping it. So Sagittarius, on 1020, we have um, the waxing moon. This is when you should be able to see features of the moon really well. This is also a time um, in some Wiccan um, rituals that you would actually time to take action. So whatever you set an intention for for the new moon, that's what you're going to be doing on the Tuesday, the 20th, is taking action. So Sagittarius, let's see what spirit wants you to take action on. Okay. One more time. And you know a ritual for um, the waxing moon can be, a, you can use tarot cards or you can just simply light a candle and meditate and put your consciousness, your focus, uh, focus it on what you're wanting. Um, you're, you know, you see yourself doing it in a meditation with uh, whatever candle. Sometimes it's good to look up uh, to kind of strengthen your focus. You can look up the meanings of the colors of candles. Do something like that. I've done that in the past and it's been pretty successful with candles. So. All right. To get started, we're going to do two cards for situation, two cards for the external, um, two cards for uh, spirit advice, and then two cards for outcome. And we'll clarify. We'll clarify too. So these are the issues. Couldn't want to have a better issue than that. Aw. Sagittarius, how lovey. So, um, external. Good. Good. Advice from spirit. Nice. Okay. We'll clarify. And outcome. Well. That's good. Seems like there's going to be a lot of work going on. Bottom of the deck is three of swords. So we're, and we got another three right under that too. Three, three. So time to create something. So time to, um, time to do something new. So king of cups and six of cups. Some people look at six of cups as, um, like a soulmate, somebody that you knew from the past. Um, King of Cups could be representing a, a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Doesn't have to though. It can represent um, the current situation of taking charge in your love life. Um, having a handle on your emotions. It's not that you're gonna express your emotions to everybody with this card but you would be able to help other people with their emotions. So I don't really think that needs clarifying. Um, your surrounding energy is the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So, I mean, this is like a new beginning in love. It can even be a new rekindling in love. Um, Nine of Wands just says have the willpower and it's there for you in your external. So then we get advice from spirit and we have many options with the seven of cups. And then we also have five of cups, loss, mourning, um, grieving. Let's clarify the five of cups. Okay. So news that must have came in about um, something that's a material object, something of material, um, could be actually child, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, 
but whatever news came in has made you feel some loss or regret and spirit just wants you to deal with the grief so that it can pass the seven of cups suggests that you have many options sometimes it's a cup that uh, sorry seven of cups um, means that you should you should be daydreaming about things that you want to happen so let's clarify the seven of cups the hanged man Sometimes I associate that with the card of, uh, I mean, the sign of Virgo. The hangman. Many different ways to view this situation. There are many different ways to view this situation. Especially if um, there's any kind of lost regret or, you know, that... Spirit wants to say that there's really no wrong turns and things might look or might feel like they didn't work out, but they're really, you can't do wrong. You can only learn. Everything that you've been through has got you to this point today. So for your outcome, Sagittarius, we have you working hard with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, working hard on your emotional and material fulfillment. So that's beautiful. And I'll clarify the Eight of Pentacles, see what you're kind of working to. Save money, investing, saving and investing. Investing in something whether it be your emotional ha happiness, but the Ten of Cups also represents your material happiness as well as your emotional happiness. So we're getting out of this feeling because we're gonna confront it, we're gonna feel it, we're gonna look at all the different perspectives we can to, on a situation to see if maybe something happened because of another reason. There's always um, ways that the divine works that sometimes we don't realize um, is for our own good. So in the end, we're gonna have a lot of hard work be put into something, but it's gonna bring you your happiness. So whatever you plan on doing on Tuesday, um, the 20th with that waxing moon just make sure your actions go towards um, your making you okay because when you're okay then you can help other people be okay and I appreciate you watching this I hope it helps somebody thank you